welcome to this stateless code cast. Today we're going to start the process of identifying an issue on the Ruby on Rails open source project and hopefully contributing a change to the code base. I don't know in advance whether this is going to be accepted or not. Uh, we're kind of doing this live, so we'll see what happens. So first I'm going to uh, demonstrate and identify the issue that is occurring. So I'm going to fire up a terminal. Right, I'm in my temp directory here, so we're going to do Rails new indefinite article. This will create a new Rails project. Right now we're using I think 6.0.3 I want to say let this continue going all right so that worked so we know we're 6.0.3.4 um, and I did check this on the master branch and the issue also persists there so I'm going to go, go into my directory and we're going to use the rails system generator here to um, generate a scaffold we're going to use author because it begins with a vowel sound. So we generate our author. And in most cases, Rails is really good about inflecting and pluralizing and even dealing with um, irregular um, verbs and nouns and stuff like that. But if we go to VS Code and open this folder, go down the directory path. So we're looking here in test system, and this is the author's test that we generated. So you can see here, visiting the index, that test name is okay, but when we look at creating a author, updating a author, destroying a author, those should all be an rather than a. So that is the, um, the issue that we um, we need to fix and there are um, I mean you could just go in every time you write a test um, go in and, and update that and replace it when you've got a vowel sound uh, but that doesn't seem very rails way to me usually uh, rails does all these things to just kind of surprise and delight programmers so we're gonna try to make um, make rails do that uh, as we work toward doing our contribution to it. The easiest solution here would be just creating my author, updating my author, destroying my author. In that case, you, you avoid the inflection problem by editing around it, and um, you can um, go in and um, take care of that. So um, the other option would be to uh, create something that matches uh, string based on a regular expression um, you'd have to um, deal with all of the edge cases like you um, universe begins with a u but you say a universe not an universe you talk about an honor not a honor so there are a lot of irregularities as it relates to the indefinite article and anything like that you couldn't just put in the uh, the system um, system test generator, scaffold generator, you'd have to essentially um, make an update to active support, which is where all of this other stuff that uh, normally works in Rails would be. So if I go into Rails console here and I do 
person dot pluralize, we'll get people. Uh, all that lives if we go into the Rails repository here. This is uh, production Rails. And if you go to active support, lib active support, most of this is in as it relates to inflections and inflector. So inflector um, requires a bunch of files that are going to be in the further in the tree. Um, inflections. This is the um, the now frozen uh, file that kind of gets your starting version of uh, the different plurals and singulars and um, uncountables and irregular uh, items that Rails deals with. So uh, if you go a little bit farther into the tree here, you've got the inflections method here, and it goes through all of the different items in here. Um, so things like plural, singular, irregular, uncountable, and works with that. And then if you go into the uh, core extensions, there are also core extensions on string that include all that code with regard to the um, inflector and um, add them as core extensions to the string. So if we were to solve this by creating an inflection for the indefinite article, we'd have to go in all these places and add new functionality, which I'm willing to do, but I don't know whether the Rails contributors are willing to uh, accept that that change. So we'll, we'll see as we go along what that um, what that issue is. The generator itself is in rail ties. So if you go to rail ties here and I have the path saved. lib rails generators test unit scaffold templates system test so here we have test here where you've got the um, creating a human name so the the issue with this is that it's it's always a and never an so you would go line 14 line 31 and line 48 and either change that a to my or um, write something that inflects the uh, indefinite article better so we'll stop that this video here in our next video we'll get into um, looking at the uh, contributing uh, section of the rails repo and uh, installing the rails dev box thanks for watching this stateless codecast be sure to like comment subscribe and spread the word you can follow us on social media at stateless code until next time keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.